Hi everyone, I'm finally back for another video. Sorry I've been busy, but today I'll be doing the skincare or my skincare routine video um, updated one because the last one I've done was maybe a year to a year and a half ago. And it was highly requested because many of my subscribers on Facebook always see my pictures and they feel that my skin is flawless, but I feel that my skin is not flawless. Um, I feel that no one's skin is flawless. Everyone has imperfections and I do have um, acne scars from acne and don't get me wrong I do take care of my skin because I feel that it is very important to take care of your skin and I don't want to get wrinkles quick or age or you know all that stuff so I'm gonna start from the beginning on what I do um, before I put on makeup I do moisturize my face I feel that it is important to moisturize your face either if you have dry or oily the combination skin um, the moisturizer that I use is um, this Neutrogena combination skin oil free moisture you can find this at Walmart or Target or any store like that and after I do that um, I do put on a face primer as well I either use the Makeup Forever high definition primer you can find this at Sephora or I either use that one or I use a Shiddle oil free mattifying um, primer the reason for that is because I do have oily skin I mean I do have oily skin I always have to like blot my face every hour um, because I feel that all that oil is always like coming out of my face and I need to blot it and I don't want to look too shiny you know what I mean that's not pretty so after that um, I wear that I, I do all that and then I put on my makeup um, so I wear all my makeup the whole day um, I do wear makeup every day foundation many people will say oh that's too heavy to wear every day um, I'm the type of girl that always has to have makeup makeup on um, I cannot leave the house without makeup I mean there are days that I do do that but I feel that I always have to have makeup on uh, I don't know why I'm like that I'm just that type of girl you know what I mean and the reason behind that is because I always say to myself, oh, you never know who you will see, so you always got to, like, look decent, you know what I mean? But after that, um, all that, I come home after a long day, and to remove makeup, I do use baby wipes. These Kirkland baby wipes that I, um, that I showed you in my October favorites. These are from Costco. You're probably wondering why do I use baby wipes to remove my makeup. Um, I don't use this to remove my makeup completely, but just to like rub off the foundation and the eyeshadow and all that. But I don't remove it completely with this. And um, this price is very reasonable because if you buy it at Costco, it comes with 900 wipes, meaning 9 packs of these for only 20 bucks. So I feel that it does the same thing as a face wipe would do, you know what I mean? So yeah. I use that not to remove everything but to remove some of my makeup and then when I'm in the shower after that um, I do use this one um, it's the Neutrogena oil free acne wash I just use a pump of this to remove some more of my makeup off because you know how you have waterproof mascara on and all that and it hasn't really completely removed all your makeup I just use this afterwards to remove some more of my makeup off but I feel that that's not or that doesn't really completely take up all your makeup off. So the face wash that I use after that is the Neutrogena One Step Gentle Cleanser. This is um, known to remove your makeup completely and refresh your cleansed skin. So this is what I use next. And this one really, really works. You could use this by itself to remove your whole makeup without using the process of the baby wipes in that face wash that I just showed you. But I do all that because, I don't know, I'm just anal like that and I've been doing that for a while and I just don't want to like skip the steps you know what I mean but if I'm out and about traveling or not home I just use this face wash to remove my whole makeup so this is where you get from Walmart so I really love Neutrogena products don't get me wrong but I feel like the the number one thing to remove all your makeup off is the Clarisonic and I've had this for about maybe two years, I would say. Um, the one that I have is a Clarisonic Pro. I think it ranges from 200 to 250 bucks, um, depending on where you get it from. 
they have it at Ulta, Sephora, or anywhere, or you could even look on um, Amazon or eBay to get it cheaper. I just got one for my mom, the same one um, from from uh, Amazon, and I think it was like 170. I think so usually it's um, 100 or 250 bucks because I got the Clarisonic. Pro is the one that has um, three speed levels. Um, usually the other ones, like the Clarisonic Nia, is a smaller version. It only has one speed, but I feel that that doesn't really cleanse my face. So I have to have the Clarisonic Pro. And I love this thing. I use it every day um, on the maybe the second speed or so. But I really, really love this. It has like three levels, um, three speed levels. And... You can manually do this where when you're cleaning around your face, it beeps so that each part of the face will have the same amount of scrubbing, like 15 seconds on your cheese and then your T-zone and things like that. So I really love this one. I feel that this is the, the number one thing in cleaning your face or making your face feel very clean. And everyone should invest in this because you should. It really, really does work. Because without this before, I would wear makeup every day like I said. And I always thought I had like an acne problem, but it really wasn't an acne problem. It was me not cleaning my makeup off good. And ever since I started using this, my skin has been like, I guess, I wouldn't say flawless, but it has improved. So I really feel that everyone should invest in this. Okay, and then after I've cleansed all my face and everything, I do use a night cream that I put on. And the night cream that I use is... This Neutrogena Light Night Cream. I just dab my um, finger in it. It's like a thick, not a very thick cream, but a cream. And I just dab it and then put it a few dabs over my face and then um, saturate it, whatever you call it. And I don't want to put it too much because it can make my face oily because I do have oily face. But this thing is not really thick to where it would make your face feel oily. But I just feel, put a few dabs on. And then after that, I either use... Um, this Neutrogena Ageless Intensive Deep Wrinkle Eye Cream I put around my eye area to prevent wrinkles. I know you're probably thinking like, oh, why are you doing having wrinkle creams or using wrinkle creams now? It's better to start to prevent wrinkles than have it and try to remove it, you know what I mean? I either use that one or I use the Lancome Re Regenerate Re-Energy Re-Energy Microlift soin lifting um advanced cream it's a superior lifting cream sorry i can't pronounce it right but this is the one that i use um i put this around my eye area as well i don't put too much of this because this thing could tend to make you feel really oily i just put this around like my eye area so the, the cream looks like this and i don't use a lot because this thing is really expensive i think this one was like 80 bucks so yeah I use this one or I either use the Neutrogena one. Um, and then after that, um, you know how I have acne scars and everything. I do like to put like acne medicine on it to prevent it from coming back. And this is the one that I use, the oil-free acne stress control. Um, it's from Neutrogena. It's a 3-in-1 hydrating acne treatment. This is kind of like a gel formula. I like this because... It doesn't um, sting like other acne treatments and it it's not it helps to prevent um, acne from coming back but it doesn't sting you know what I mean like other acne treatments and it has acidic acid so this is the one that I use and that's basically all that I use and I normally do use a face mask um, maybe once or twice a week and the one that I use is a queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. Um, it's very popular on YouTube. I know many girls have this already. And this thing claims to help dry up acne pimples, rinse away blackheads, and shrink enlarged pores. Um, what I find true about this one is that it does shrink enlarged pores um, because I do have kind of big pores. But all the other stuff, I feel that it does help in a way, but I just feel like it is so refreshing that I have to do it like maybe at least once a week. So 
so I do love this thing. You can get this at Walgreens is where I get it. But I don't know about Walmart or Target. I haven't checked to see if they have this. This was just like five bucks. So basically that is my skincare routine. Um, I hope this helped you in any way or answered your questions on what I use. Maybe you could try it out if you have combination to oily skin. Um, I know everyone's skin is not like mine. But if you have similar skin to me, maybe you could try these products out. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. I will be making more videos soon, I promise. I know I've been busy, but um, that's about it. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!